Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In this video, we're going to explore a restaurant stovetop and ventilation hood. This small build is featured in my Pizza Hut mock and that mock has been very well received. If you haven't watched it, you can check it out by following the link in the card or in the description. If you're going to build a restaurant or diner mock, this video may be useful for you as I'm going to show you the details of my build and how I designed it to be integrated with the wall of a restaurant. Let's get started. This is a mock-up I did. Just imagine this is the wall of a kitchen or of a restaurant and this is your stovetop and this is the ventilation hood. And of course, here's our friendly chef and we'll just get him out of the way for now. For those of you who aren't familiar with what this is, basically when you cook, uh, there might be oil and fumes. You want this to be sucked up by the ventilation hood that brings it all the way out through the exhaust in the rooftop of a restaurant or a building. You don't want the smoke to fill up the entire restaurant. So that's what this hood is for. And I designed this so that it's built onto the wall uh, separate from this stovetop. Let's have a look at the stovetop first. This is pretty straightforward. We have some pots and pans over here. This black stud is supposed to be the hob, so that should remain on top. So this build itself is pretty straightforward. These two are basically cabinet parts uh, and there's a hinging door. I chose all grey for this build. You can have these in transparent uh, panels if you like. Then it looks a bit like an oven where you can see inside. On top of these stoves or these cabinets, you want to place black studs round studs just like this and one by two tiles. These are modified tile grill pieces and anytime you have these kind of cabinets where you have the door hinging down, you do need a plate underneath. If not, if you place this onto a plate, let's say something like that, you can't even place it in because of the hinge. So you do need the extra space just so that that can open up this clearance with the base and even if you tile this, you still can open this up. So that's really straightforward. The stove top is basically two of these on a plate, just like that. This is not as straightforward. This hood is made of two main parts. I'm gonna just take out this part here and it'll become a bit more apparent. So let's just have a look at this. Well, I think the first thing we need to know is what's in the wall. And this is a one by four modified brick with studs on the front and on top. So that's how it looks like. So you actually build it into the wall of your restaurant or your diner. For the top of the hood, this is basically a bracket. So this is a bracket with four studs on one side and two studs on the inside. And I placed the, another grill piece here and that's just to give uh, kind of a ventilation feel. And that fits on directly onto the center studs of the modified brick inside. For the very top of the hood, this is basically a curved sloped tile with a 1x2 plate to fill in the space and this basically just goes on top. So that's the top of the hood. For the sides of the hood, very straightforward. You need two of these 2x2 two two modified bricks with studs on the side. So it's similar to this one but in a square format. And you need a 2x2 two two tile to cover it to make it nice and smooth and you just need two of these. You also need a 2x4 towel which you place over the studs. You're using a snot technique to put it against the wall. Snot is studs not on top because basically you normally would uh, build Lego this way with studs on top. This is studs on the side so it's a snot technique. So you just basically turn it 90 degrees, you fit it between the cover or between the top of the hood and there you have a very realistic and mini thick scale industrial hood. And that's it. Very simple, very straightforward, but very realistic. And as I said, if you're building a restaurant or diner, this might fit perfectly for you. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you liked it, please leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.